you just you do the inter- the intros or whatever. I'm like, who are these people? I never I've never seen any of your other interviews, by the way. You gotta go on my channel. Yeah, I know I should. Just hashtag soft front underbelly. Hashtag sponsored by. There are two thousand other people. Christian Dior. Do you know that uh, Tiffany Haddish came to Skid Row and she was sponsored by Skid Row by uh, Christian Dior? Did you see the uh, the ad for it? No. Oh my god! So it was right by the row. You didn't see it? No. The Inner City Arts. The Inner City Arts Gallery. I just didn't have a ticket, so yeah, I couldn't get right, in that. Yeah, right next door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. CIA. I-C-A. Inner City Arts. CIA. Were you there for it? No, I didn't go. I was at the hospital at the time. Plus, I couldn't, I, I couldn't get tickets. You weren't around. I didn't know you were buying me things. I didn't know we were <laughs> at that point in our relationship. I just, I just got you what tickets? Coachella tickets. I'm going to Coachella, bitches. Thank you, Mark. I swear, Mark is the father I never had. Mark, you are my father. You're my daddy. You're my dad. You're my dad. But you're all my daddy. You're my father. Daddy, I want a squirrel. You got me a squirrel. Thank you, daddy. I love you, daddy. You're going to go see Lana Del Rey. I'm going to go see Lana Del Rey, Tyler the Creator, and of course, Doji Cat. Ha la 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 la. La 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 la. Burning desire. You stole this outfit from my daughter? Tamale. I stole this from. No, I didn't. Okay. Your daughter has boxes of clothes in your studio. I don't know why you keep them in your dirty, fucking, scummy Skid Row studio. Yeah, you should be keeping them You're here. Right. You're right. Well, those are Olivia's clothes. Who was your other name? A daughter again? What was her name? Alex, right? Alex. Um, Alex was so cool. Alex just showed up on her bike and she was like, oh my God, Rebecca, you, should, you have to come back. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh my God, yeah. But, but, both my daughters are really cool. You I haven't met Olivia yet. I can't wait to meet you, Olivia, because I'm a model, too, in case you're I'm a model. Olivia's wonderful. Everyone says I'm the next Kate. They're both Alex. wonderful. I can I only imagine. I love Alex. I've met Olivia but I can only imagine by example. Are they similar or are they different? Very different. Very different. I, can, I, I thought so. Olivia looks like me but has kind of like mom's personality. But as she gets older, she's kind of changing. Until you're averse to mom, what was your relationship like with her? Great. Great? Still is great. Amicable divorce? Very. Yeah, because my friends don't have an amicable divorce. Like I, I don't have, like an I don't have any animosity towards anybody. Me neither, honestly. I couldn't care less. There's nobody I'm angry at. I honestly have. I'm not, it's not angry. I'm more like disappointed at this point. <laughs> you know, I'm like. <laughs> Who are you most disappointed with? Just in general, anything that, that gravitates towards, honestly, people who don't give me things. Like, if I go up to someone, I'm like, could I have your leftover food? Or could I have a dollar? Or could I have a cigarette? Especially when it comes to cigarettes. No, but a lot of people have a bad attitude. About yeah, but it's a bad attitude. I hate that. If I'm dying, right, I'm barefoot. You know, I clearly look like I've been through some shit. And I come <laughs> yeah. up to you asking you for a cigarette, and you just took a cigarette out of a pack. And I'm listening all the time in West Hollywood. Fuck West Hollywood, by the way. Those people are disgusting. It's not like that, uh, that I don't know a lot of people in the gay community. It's just like, honestly, I prefer straight people. Why? Because straight people don't, aren't dramatic like that. Like, yeah, sure, here's a cigarette. Anytime I ask a, a woman or a girl for a so cigarette, you, it's you cool. Spent, you spent the day here on Skid Row. I'm, I mean, on, uh, in, in, in Santa, Santa Monica. Monica. Yeah, it was really sweet. People were really nice. Santa a lot of people Monica's came up nice to me, you. like they recognized me. I saw weird. a couple of people that thought you were very nice. Yeah, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You missed it when you left. People kept coming up to me, giving me food and stuff. It was so adorable. <laughs> Cigarettes, and I met this guy who was looking for shit. I told him I didn't have any. First time in my life, I haven't had shit, by the way. People always come to me like, can I have a bump? I'm like, sure. You're, you're much higher energy than you were last this morning. Because I'm in a better mood, yeah. but I'm sober. But you haven't smoked anything since this? I haven't smoked anything. No, I don't know, I don't know where to get it. So, this this is, so you just naturally have this kind of up? Exactly. No, I'm energy. naturally a lot more upbeat. It's just like Skid Row is very scummy and bummy and dumb. It's a depressing. It's a, it's a depressing. It's just, it's just um, it's like betraying its own nature of failure. It's a failure of a place. It's like, I, I, I can't even stand being down there I don't know why you're there. I don't know why you're there. I, think you, I can see why you started this. Mark, it's time to elevate our lives. I think it's, I, exactly. Kill the studio. Stop paying rent. Kill it all. Ignore them. Bye. They're dead. They're, gonna die. <laughs> They're all going to die of crack. I'm going to die of fentanyl overdoses. I right? didn't realize my daughter wears clothes like this. Who, who is that? Yeah, I don't think show she us, does. Show us the yeah. bottoms. I don't think I didn't. I didn't think your daughters were sexy girls. <laughs> You're not a very sexy man. Show, show, us, very the, sexual show us the bottoms. This is, this is my. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, my twenty-year-old fine. daughter. <laughs> this is your daughter. This is your new daughter, wow. your third daughter, Rebecca. Roar. I, I, I approve. As a father, I, I approve. Really? Do you approve? Okay, great. Then you're my father. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not. You send adoption papers? No, Can I mean, you adopt me? Sex is, a, my way? sex is a normal sex part is of life. Sex is a normal part of life. Thank you. Sex is a very normal part of life. I haven't had sex in three years. Why? Because I've been H-O-M-E-L-E-S-S. But it's 2024, the year of home. When you flip we hope upside I'm, I'm down. really optimistic of 2024 for you. Me too. So am I, yeah. As long as I just don't get arrested again. The, fir- the first three videos, this would be the third, I think. I think much improved. The much improved so, so much. Too. Three best in a row we've ever done. I think so, honestly. No, no, I do have potential. It's just like, I don't know why I'm letting myself down. At this point, it's like self-insecurity or self, uh, what were you saying earlier? Self-destruction. I'm just very self-destructive. Yeah, if, have, you, if, you don't, you, if you don't believe you deserve a roof over your head and maybe a nice I feel like it was that. Honestly, job I don't and a car love. and all these I things. I don't deserve friends. I don't deserve good things in life. I don't know why I would do no, that. No, you do. Myself. You do. I thank you because I honestly don't feel that I'm gonna, way. I'm going to start brainwashing you. And Please make, do. Make, I need make, you to be brainwashed. Making you repeat after me. You deserve a beautiful house to live in, great friends, a nice I job that you're stimulated by. To live in, great friends, a nice job to get by. That's all I want, literally, dude. 
I just, I told you, I just told your secretary, I go fetch your coffee in the morning, dude. Then they pay me like <laughs> like five bucks a fucking year. I go fetch your coffee. I don't, I don't, I'd I don't, be your dog. I'm not a coffee drinker, but uh, I don't drink coffee either. Thank you. I hate but coffee. We'll, we'll find something for I you. I don't understand do. coffee. I don't understand coffee. Why would you drink this bitter, disgusting water? I wake up on a Dr Pepper usually or a root beer. Water, I guess, but even water is like, why? There's nothing there. I mean, do you actually? I've I've rarely seen you. Eat. I just gave you my leftovers. Oh, from I don't dinner. eat. Yeah, because 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 of the methamphetamine. The great thing with meth is it, it stops you from eating, and that's why I started doing it. Was because I couldn't afford <clears throat> food. So the reason you were hungry just now when I brought in my food is because was I was sober. Because you're sober. Exactly. This is this is Rebecca fairly sober. This is Rebecca totally like 100% Stone Cold Steve sober. Stone Cold Steve Austin sober. I swear all my life. I swear all my life. So, so, my life. so that video where I knew you weren't 100% clean. Oh, but oh I, it was, I, that's I, when I was here. We smoked. We smoked. I, I titled it. We spent the $100 on meth. <laughs> I titled it Clean Ish. Meth, a razor. Today is clean. And meth, a razor, and a Vogue. That's all we spent the money on. Oh, and a pack of smokes. Shout out Jimmy. I love you, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy. No, sometimes I let Jimmy down, honestly, just because in my insecurities, like, I spent the whole night going, like, thank you. Oh, my God, you're, like, my best friend. You know J- what I mean? Jimmy is awesome. Jimmy is awesome. What a lovely person. He is great. It's just, like, right at the end of, of, of the stay, right? Oh, do you have cigarettes? or Because I smoked all my cigarettes. I'll get you cigarettes. I'm going to have to go buy cigarettes again. See, I need a secretary. I need an assistant in life. You know what I mean? I need a handler or an agent or a fucking, you know what do I mean? Do they sell cigarettes in Santa Monica? Yeah, they do. Yeah, L N K and Star Liquor. I know Santa Monica fairly well because when I first came to LA, the first thing I did- Because you're not supposed to smoke here. And the hotel I got you down the street- You can't smoke in the rooms? You know, no smoking in the rooms. Oh my God. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know. I guess I'll go smoke outside. I'm but but, smoke. but if, if you can- I used to live in New York. I'm used to going smoking outside. No, I know. I know. But, it, but if, you can, if you can stay here tonight and make it go smoothly, yeah. we can do it more often. All right. It's deal. a really nice hotel. Deal. It's the it's same I wanted to masturbate, but whatever. I guess I'll, I'll go to the bathroom. There, there's no laws about that. There's no laws about that? Okay, fine. You can go masturbate in the shower. <laughs> you can Like do, fucking Lester Burnham. American can, Beauty, isn't it? I don't want to know, but you can do whatever She's you want. She's lean, me. You're staying in the same hotel that... Uh, I'm sorry, Ra- Dad. Exactly, Dad. You're staying in the same Father's hotel rules. That, as, as Raya and her pimp stayed in. Raya and her pimp? <laughs> as Raya. I would love a pimp, honestly. <laughs> best, I mean, what did I say? Best cocktail I've ever had. You, <laughs> you don't want a pimp. So I would love a pimp. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I really would. I really want to do porn. I want to oh, be like Madonna. No, don't tell Remember me. Remember the sex book? Oh, so I'm sorry, Dad. Never mind. Never mind. We'll keep it G-rated. No, 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 no. I, I can handle it. G-rated. You can handle it? Okay, I'd love to do porn, honestly. It would be an honor to do porn. If anything wants to fuck this carcass, let me know. <laughs> I do it for free. I pay you to fucking get me in a porno. Literally. Ready, willing, and able. <laughs> don't do that. I just don't fuck black guys. I don't have sex with black guys, okay? You don't have sex with I don't black. have sex with black guys. That's my one rule. I don't like black guys. I don't find oh, them black, attractive. Black guys? Black men are not attractive to me. I've been raped by a few of them, but that's not why. I just don't find them attractive. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just a part of life, whatever. Shit happens, you know what I mean? I just don't get it. It's like when, when they try to force you to suck their dick, I'm like, but I can't physically put that in my mouth. Like at least in my ass, like I can't say no, you know what I mean? Because of the elasticity. So it's like whatever, okay, get it, go, get it on with, you know? I've done the Jennifer's body bleeding thing before. Because they're so large? Because they're so large, it's disgusting. I've never seen anything more disgusting in my life than a black penis. I mean, dicks already look quite weird. I would show my penis, but we're on camera and this is for YouTube, so no. You know, and you could, yeah, I, don't, it's, it's, no, you I don't, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't usually take this stuff out. The, the, the only word that they, YouTube makes me take out is uh, I just don't want to show my dick. A word you use sometimes. What? What yeah. word? Oh yeah, 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 right, right. Ironically enough, <laughs> ironically enough, which everyone by the way treats me like a f- literally, dude. You have no idea when I go to WeHo, like they're just looking at me like, who is this bum bitch? Like literally, last night I was in WeHo, right? Right after I got arrested, I came out. The cops stole fifty bucks from me. Okay, I had. What, what did you get arrested on Friday for? Oh, for a broken meth pipe. A broken pipe. It looked like a crack pipe. Literally, probably a crack pipe at this point. Literally, the shit was cooked. It was cheap shit. I got it off some bum, literally with like twenty dollars. You know what I mean? And literally, and then they stole hundred bucks from me, Mark. Or was it two hundred? Yeah, like two hundred or two hundred fifty dollars. They literally pulled out a knife and were like, "Give me all your money." That I gave you? Yeah, I'm lucky. I, I came out of it with like fifty bucks that I tucked into another pocket. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They didn't see. I literally had to give them all the money that I had. You, you get robbed a lot. I get robbed all the time because the one I'm time I gave you three hundred bucks and you got robbed instantly. I get robbed all the time. Down on Skid Row, it's terrible because people know that I'm giving people money. It's Skid Row, but I just don't understand how it exists. There's no downtown. And if on you the come planet. out of my studio, they know you've got money in your you pocket. You know, I've got money exactly. Every time Corey, the most disgusting human being I've ever met in my life, most despicable human being oh, ever. Corey is the only one that can help him. Corey, <laughs> he just tore my daughter's. I'm sorry. Head. I've been doing it all day. <laughs> Oh, she, uh, she, let me tell you what Olivia texted me. What did she text you? Oh, she texted about? She, she's working today. So she, What's she I, doing? I, I sent her the video. Was she doing Versace, Dior, no, no, Prada, no, 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 no. She's, Vogue, a catalog, the Walmart swimsuit catalog? Goes, it, it looks great on her big heart and says, I love that. Aw, so thank likes, you. She loves likes that. Me. Yeah, your daughter's reminds me of like Paris and Nikki, you know what I mean? Where I think Olivia's the Paris and Alex is the Nikki. Thank God. And I'm the Baron. I'm Baron Hilton. Olivia's fun. Olivia's fun. I can imagine. How old is she again? 20. And how old is Alex? 23. 
Maybe six two, maybe six one and a half. And I'm six four. You're six four? Six four. I'm like five seven, I think. The Olsen twins are five four. I'm starting to buy you as a female. I'm starting to buy me as a female as well. It's there. The potential is there. The, 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 those crazy wigs, I have a hard time it's with. Not the, it's not the craziness of the wigs. It's just that they're very cheap. And by the time I get them, they're very dried out. And they look cheap as yeah, fuck. Yeah, they don't look good on you. They but, don't look but, good but, on but this looks great. If you can get a good wig, you know. Even I mean? if it was your natural color. I like, your... I like that one. You know that Madonna uh, erotica album cover? It reminds me of that. If I had the red lipstick on. But mm-hmm. honestly, I don't mind. Oh, that's right. I have no that's makeup right. on. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Violet Chachki has a tattooed on her. I know. Yeah. That's one of the, you know Violet Chachki? No, I know that photo. Oh, okay, you know that photo? Yeah, I love that photo. Remember that Herbert's photo? So I felt like I looked like last time I was here, but in white, you know what I mean? You know, the one with her in leather going. She's she still obsessed with, Madonna, with Marilyn Monroe. You know, she keeps trying to be like the hardcore Marilyn Monroe. You know what I mean? What and do you think of Madonna? I know you love God. Her. God, as, God is a woman. God yeah, is a woman. I know, but know. what do you think of her now? As she's, as she's I think her face, older. honestly, like she did her face wrong. She puffed it up really weird. I think if she drinks wine, when you drink alcohol, alcohol, your face puffs up. Also, I think she got tragic. I think I, I, Madame X could have been hardcore. Could have been a hard album. Could have been a techno album. Could have been a trance album. It's kind of like this. It's like, you know, like what you're doing. It ended up very, looking very mediocre. And I'm, honestly, just, I'm just not into people doing too much crap to their bodies. I, I, I don't mind her body so much, but yeah, no, she looks fake. She just looks artificial. She it's looks sorry. fat. Yeah, it's like, She's like Mae West. You know what I mean? She literally looks like fat. Just, just go run a couple miles. Honey, like, uh, go, no, because she was very insecure about her skinny arms and about her veins. Because people used to talk so much shit in the media about how skinny she looked. So she literally put fat on her body. And I can tell, you know what I mean? Because I know how surgeries work. She really fattened it up and probably took like See, chicken I, I, feet. I don't, I, don't, I don't dig any of that putting... Yeah, I don't want to put tits in. Ma- That's, making body parts larger. I don't wear tits, you know what I mean? Like As you've noticed, I don't stuff my boobs. I don't tuck my dick. It's I, I, there. I've had girlfriends with breasts smaller than yours. Yeah, I can imagine. The itty bitty titty committee. Oh, I, I, I don't mind. I'm like, yeah, I can tell you like um, a variety of girls. I can tell you like alternative. Not too weird, but like you like mousy kind of girls. You like girls like me, honestly. <laughs> girls, girls, <laughs> I don't girls. Like, I do not like girls I'm like not you. a girl. I'm not yet a woman. 24, you're the girl. 24, 25 years I, old. I, I love your personality, but I, I am not... Um, I know. Me neither. I'm not attracted to you in any way. I, I love you as a father. I love you as a friend. I don't love you. I don't find you physically attractive. I don't find you sexually attractive. I don't find any part of your body attractive. You don't repulse me. You just, you know what I mean? You're just my friend, honestly. You're like my dad. You're literally... What, what did you call me once? You called me a... Daddy. No, no, no. There was one video. A lot of my haters loved it. You said, uh, I was like a serial killer or something Yeah, like so many people hate on you. I'm like, why? People can't believe me for like, oh, damn, like, she died of a drug overdose. She's some dumb skank fucking died of a fucking fentanyl overdose. It's like that guy, Sino. He was so weird, dude. He, he, you know, every time he come to shave my face, you know, he once stole the room that you gave me? Corey went and got me a room, right? And then they come in, like, two minutes later, and like, by the way, as Sino came in, he's like, by the way, this is my room. Get the fuck out of my room, bitch. He did? Yeah, and once these guys pulled a gun out on me, remember when the guys pulled that gun on me? Yeah, I think they were all involved. I think they were all in cahoots in it. And then they, they, they no, took Sk- the money. Skid, Ro- Skid Row's ta- ta- It's like $300. You're going to do that for $300? Stay out here. I'll stay out here. Stay out here. I'll stay out here. Try to stay away from the, the drugs so much. It's not the like, drugs. Like the way you are today and it's yesterday. It's not the drugs, but like honestly, let's try sober me. And then before I went to London last week, you, you were fucking amazing. Let's try sober me. Yeah. Let's try sober me. And then we'll keep doing these videos and I'll, yeah. I'll pay you nicely for them. And then just don't, don't self destruct. Okay, deal. And then, and then eventually, you'll get in a groove, and you'll start doing get this on your own without me. Get into the groove, boy. Okay, I love you. I'll do it because I love you. Uh, to show my love and appreciation and total loyalty to you, I will go sober for a week. Really? Three days. Three days sober. <laughs> Three days clean. <laughs> Three days. Three days. Okay, cool. We'll see if I can last. You're, ama- you're amazing. You don't believe I will, you're and amazing. I believe I do. Three days. So I, I, so I posted uh, a video you know, I post on Sunday afternoons. So I posted your video today, and the people, yeah. and, and it was the one where you were laying here on the couch and you were just behaving as badly as, as I was being really irritating that day. I feel like I was being combative towards you. I feel like honestly, because it felt like I was being like you didn't want to see me succeed. You know what I mean? No, I want you to succeed. So I was kind of like bitching at you a little, like, ooh, look I, like I just, she I just, said about me. I just me. took it as your fear of uh, getting deported or something like that. Yeah, it really was a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it is a lot. I just I, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. I want to stay in America. I want to be an American. I cannot get deported. I am here. I'm in America. What can I do? Like. I want to enlist in the U.S. Army. Like, what do I do? You know what I mean? If I go back to Cairo, I literally have to serve no, in the military. No, I, I spoke to a couple of people while I was in London about what happens if, if this... Because I was going to go to London and claim asylum, but then I tried to kill myself, so they kicked me out of boarding school, so my dad sent me to a mental hospital in Cairo. No, but I, I talked to somebody from uh, Egypt, and he said, no, if he, if he goes back to Egypt... Yeah, I'll be killed. Yeah. I'll be slaughtered. That's what he said. I'll be skinned alive and fed to dogs. I'll be set on fire. We're not going to let that happen. Yeah, I'm a witch, right? Two. So, I mean, Muslims <laughs> and witches really are not the best of friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. M-W. 
man, woman. No, but if you stayed in Santa Monica for a while, didn't cause too many problems. I won't. I'll like today, you left. Was it? A, uh, you left like a blanket out on the. No, street? it was already there. It was already there. It was already there. Somebody else's. Yeah, somebody else's. Okay. I just carried it for like a second. No, but it's like you. You know how it is being homeless. It's if disgusting. They see you, it's disgusting. I if don't they do see that. you with a blanket and then you left, leave I'm it. I'm not a homeless man. I'm literally you know. I know. I know. I know. But like, I'm not. Even though it's not your fault. It just happened. It literally just happened. It was an accident. <laughs> No, I was literally just like gypsying around America, just but, being a gypsy. But, but, but there was like a plate of food there right in the middle of the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. I, I, bought, a, I bought some food with the money you gave yeah, me. Yeah, but this is not Skid Row. Yeah, I know. I know exactly. No, no. I, I can be on good behavior. I've been I've You've been, been rich in trouble before. Today. That's good. I've been rich before. I'll do it just, again. Just don't get, don't get arrested down here. I just won't get arrested down here. I never have been arrested down here. I've been arrested in Venice. I've been arrested in WeHo. I've never been arrested on Skid Row, and I've been arrested in Santa Monica. I don't know why. Or anywhere in L.A. We have been arrested. Venice, I've been arrested. Venice, I got arrested on the border between Venice Why are you and talking so fast if you're clean? Because I don't know. Because that's just me. I'm naturally like 100%. <laughs> Family and drugs are just fucking holding me back at this point. It's just meth. I can live without meth. It's Molly that I need. It's just because I'm like, I'm like hyped. I'm like excited. I'm like, let's do Mo this. Molly's a pill? Huh? Molly's a pill? No, ecstasy's a pill. Molly's lines. It's the same. It looks like meth. It's basically like, but it's more white. Hmm. It's a lot more like pharmaceutical in consistency. <laughs> what do you have in your face? Uh, it's nutting. I've been caught in a trap. And the trap is, I am Egyptian. I'm sorry, I'm Egyptian. I'm Cleopatra, okay? I'm Cleopatra. It's me, Cleo. Cleo Jones. <laughs> Cleopatra, literally. Cleopatra comes to LA. And what do they do to her? They make her a bum bitch. Well, 2024, year of C L E O. Cleo. Watch this face. So, where's the goal? You know what I mean? Are you excited about Coachella? I'm very excited about Coachella. I've never been to Coachella. I've never been to a festival in my life. You got to figure out how to get you there. I've been to Ultra in Miami, but like I snuck in. You know what I mean? I got kicked out by the bouncers because they found out I didn't have a fucking wristband on. And I'm trying to steal wristbands off the floor. Are you looking for a, ri a ride to Coachella? Yeah, I guess I need a ride to Coachella. <laughs> anybody, I don't know. I was just going to take the bus or something. I don't any, know. Anybody wants to? Yeah. Peace Rebecca to come along. Just you seen the music video for Hot e and Fun by NERD? Email me. Hot if, anyway, if anyone got a ride to Coachella, week one, week one, bitches. Oh yeah, Rebecca week, week one. Thank you. Email Mark Leda. What's your email? You're professional. Uh, in, you know. Info at softwhiteunderbelly.com. Info at softwhiteunderbelly.com. The subheading is Rebecca Ride to Coachella or Becky Coachella. Your choice. <laughs> you're a good girl or a bad bitch. You either love me or you hate me. If you hate me, it's Becky Coachella. I, I, how, how long does it take to drive to Coachella? Probably three hours? I don't know. Where's Coachella? Where's the Coachella Valley? It's on I don't the know. desert. I, I would just be afraid of being in a car with you for three, four hours. I'm, be, I'm, very, I'm very major on road trips. I'm a very much a road trip bitch, a road trip skank. Have you seen, you remember Lady? Hear me tonight. Cause remember that music video by Mojo where it's like a dude and two chicks and they're like road tripping and fucking around, but there's no sex in it, you know what I mean? They're just like, like in a relationship. It's so beautiful. Anyway, have you ever seen the movie The Dreamers with Eva Green? Never. Oh my God, you should watch it. It's Michelangelo Antonioni. Did, did your mom or your dad have great taste? Oh, my, 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 my mom beat me up. My dad was a pussy. My dad was like a little piggy, little piggy boy. I love him. He's so fat. But your, your mom had great taste? Oh, no. Terrible taste. They both have terrible taste. So where did you develop this? Oh, myself. That's why I ran away from home. They have terrible taste. Oh, my gosh. My mom used to wear brown lip liner. Brown lip liner and blue eyeshadow. Like blue, like, like graphic eyeliner. But like really weirdly, like not black, just blue, like electric blue. It was really weird. And my dad has no taste. My dad had one pretty little sweat and sweatshirt. I wasn't allowed to buy designer clothes as a kid. Literally, it was considered haram. It was considered like schadenfreude. It was considered a sin to buy designer clothes. Like my mom literally, literally convinced my dad after 25 years of blowjobs and fights and being beat up or whatever. I don't care. I don't what, was care. Your, what was your parents' marriage like? Um, very rocky, very much distant. Whenever they would um, end up together in front of us, they would always fight. My dad beat my, my, my mom up once. Instantly really? regretted it. Instantly regretted it. No, no, no. It was because she was trying to beat me. She used to beat me. She beat me mercilessly day So he was night. defending you? Oh, yeah. So he was defending me, and he literally, he pushed her. And then my brother threw a basketball at him, and then he left us for three years. But then he tried to come back and smooth things out with her. She was a piece of work. Like, I was saying nice shit about her the other day, but honestly, she treated me like shit. So you're, you told me you, your mom didn't handle you being gay very easily. She beat. Very she well. used to beat me up growing up anyway, because she, she was very obsessed with um, education. Why? Because she failed school. And ended up becoming a secretary at the American Chamber of Commerce, ironically enough, in, in Egypt. How did, in you do, how did you do in school, in class? Oh, very well. Very well until ninth grade. And then I dropped out. Well, you're super bright. Yeah, but I started doing drugs and then I just ended up, like, I'd go to tests to go to sleep, you know what I mean? I started cutting class and you know what I mean? And just. But, but your dad accepted? My dad was very accepting. And he's the one who actually brought me to the States. He bought me a ticket. He bought me an apartment. And then he was like, stay in contact with me if you want to. And I just chose not to. I love your dad. I love my dad. He's such a great guy. He's such a great guy. Shout out my dad. Shout out Salsa. I love you, Salsa. I, I, I've never met your dad. His name is Mohammed Saudi. And you probably, I don't want you to just because I feel bad for him. I, I don't want him to see these videos. That's why I wanted to delete them, honestly, just because I'm like, can we start again? You know what I mean? Can we delete all, all these videos and start again? <laughs> can we? Can we? Is there potential for that? Delete all, you, all your videos? And just begin again with this one? We could do that. Can we do that, please? Thank you. Thank you.
let's just move on with this phase of our lives. I think I'll, that was I'll put them on my subscription channel. Yeah, put them on your subscription channel. How about that? Yeah, POV, pay per view. There's, there's so many of them now. Anyway. PPV, pay per view. Yeah, so many of me doing nothing. I mean, just ow, my feet, ow, my ears. Oh no, Mark, the meth pipe, the meth pipe, the meth pipe. <laughs> that poor little pookie. I hate that word pookie. What does that word mean? I don't know what a bookie is. Pookie, p- pookie pipe is a is a meth pipe. Yeah, I know, but ew, what is what is a pookie? The key to shit? The shit key? Are you smoking feces? <laughs> Are you smoking fecal matter? At this point, I don't, I don't know why these people smoke crack. I've tried it like three times or four times. You've tried crack? It doesn't make sense. You tried fentanyl once. You like that? Oh, that was so fun just sitting there lying, dying. I was just like, let me try do, it. Do you remember passing out? I don't. I just remember being in front of a car and then I literally like blanked. Like I, I, I was fell on the floor and I'm like, whoa, this is happening how, again. How long do you think you were out? I have no idea. I have no idea what happened. They said that they knocked on me three times. Three times? Three times. And then what was the what was the aftermath of being Narcan? Well, they sent me to LACOSC, which is the most disgusting hospital in the world, which is not a metropolitan general hospital. It's the most disgusting, the cheapest hospital you'll ever go to. It's just the way they send all the bums, basically. It's just a public hospital. But it's so disgusting. And it was just literally just me, like, kept begging for food because the portions were so small and the food was so bland and gross. Yeah, every time you go into a hospital, when you come out, you're like, you're, you're, you're like a... You're, you're like this, except slower. Because I'm usually very excited just to be back in life. You know what I mean? There's yeah. no people, and the people at these mental hospitals. I, I, get, I see so, so many listless. comments saying, like, that's your f- the favorite video, where you came back a little bit thicker. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Did people like it when I got fat? Because I got fat. When I say f- like, I got fat. Ew. Like, I've never had a belly like that. No, it, but when you uh, got hit by the car, you were in the hospital for a while. Yeah. And you came out heavier because you weren't smoking. I wasn't smoking yet. No, I started smoking when I got out. Um, I met a girl at the, at the place, and the day that I was leaving, I don't think she gave me a line. But honestly, like, it just, like, sexually, in life, it just gives me so much pleasure. You know what I mean? Sex like, is better on meth? Huh? It's, it's sex, everything's better on meth. I'm not one of those people who have sex on meth, because honestly, like, I'd rather be dancing or partying. Like, sex is very overrated to me. I'll orgasm. Okay, so, okay, I came. Now what? You know what I mean? I, do I have to make you come too? You know what I mean? I'd rather cut out the middleman and just come. You know what I mean? Porn is great. It's very convenient. Having a penis is very convenient. I don't imagine how much trouble it's going to be being a woman because I'm not going to wait half an hour to come. I'm not going to sit there. What do you mean not come? What do you mean you came? I'm not going to come. Are you crazy? Well, how come? I just don't understand why it takes women so much longer. I think because of the elasticity or because of the biology of it. Like, why can't you just rub your clit or just touch it? You usually just poke it. It depends on the girl. If there's a button, it depends on the guy, I'd say. He said, no, he's doing it. Or it depends on the guy. Or the girl if they're a lesbian. What's it, what's it like being in LA County? Jim? Honestly, boring as fuck. There's like five channels. On the TV. But at least there's a TV. It's just, at least there's a TV, but it's just TNT and TBS. It's all just either sports the, the, or family but, but guy. But the other prisoners are, the other prisoners are cool with you? Yes and no. I mean, honestly, I was just really quiet, and, like, I was coming down. So, like, I pissed the bed, like, twice. I was so fucking come down. Like, literally, I've never pissed myself before. It was disgusting. You, you peed your bed? Because, because, yeah, and I've never wet the bed in my life. I didn't even wet the bed when I was a kid. Because, like, I was so sober that it just, like, didn't make sense, you know what I mean? Like, today I'm more, like, it's a thrill of sobriety. It's like, you know, the phases of, like, a breakup? You know when you have a breakup, so at first you're, like, excited. You're like, yeah, it's like New Year's resolution. New Year, new me. But there's the crying phase. I see hope for you now. I see hope for all of us, Mark. <laughs> 2024, hope, girl, Cleo, and, of course, rage. Because, honestly, I'm angry. I'm angry with myself. I'm angry at humanity. I think, I think rage, like the wrath of God, is very, very, very appropriate here, truly, with a W for which... There are people out there who want to burn me, still. Do you have a middle name? My middle name is Muhammad. Re- my dad's name is Muhammad. Muhammad Saudi. My name is Ismail Muhammad Saudi. Ishmael. Ishmael. It's Muhammad. Ismail. No, because Ishmael is the Jewish pronunciation. My family would have your head chopped off if you call me Ishmael. Ismail. 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 Ismaili? Ismail. Ismail. Yeah, they used to call me Smiley. Or I used to go by Ishi. Like, um, Ishi. Yeah, when I was in London, I, I went by Ishi Plastique. Because, like, is she Plastique? I like Ishi. Ishi Plastique. I don't like Ishi at all. I met another Ish and I was like, oh, thank God. I like Ish. <laughs> I don't see it as a Muhammad, though. I don't see it as a Muhammad. Yeah, no, that's my dad's name. I don't get an American when you go by your parents' name when you, you know, like a lot of actors do that. Reese with her spoon. <laughs> that's, 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 I love that name. Reese with her spoon. Laura Jean Poon. Her name is Laura Jean Poon. Fuck her in the Poon on it. Music. Makes it. Yeah, honestly, I love Madonna. We were talking about Madonna earlier. I love Madonna. I love the sex book. Honestly, I believe she didn't. Like, she could have gone harder, or, like, she, because in her life, like, she, when I read, I read her brother's biography of her, and it talks about how she read, like, a lot of a nice Nin. Like, as I said, she keeps trying to emulate, like, a very, um, it's, like, denigrative. It's, you know, she, when she calls Lady Gaga reductive, I honestly feel like she's redu- reductive to herself. Like, she's insulting herself by not making more refined music. Like, you have all this, you have the whole world at your disposal. She's making hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, a while back we talked about 
Courtney Love. Now we're talking about Madonna. Madonna. Sounds about right. You, you, you who I liked was great is uh, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell? I don't like Joni Mitchell. I think Joni Mitchell is a fucking... Well, it's not your style. Not my style at all. Not my style at all. Fuck that shit. It's like people who read, um, what's her name? But, but just great music. Who's great that quintessential writing. California, uh, LA author? I mean, California author. What's her name? There's one author that everyone reads here. Um, she was in a Selena ad. Joan Didion. It's like Joan Didion. It's mm. not for me. You know what I mean? That's not my brand of feminism. Doesn't mean... <laughs> I love, I love when, you di- when you dissed uh, Shakespeare. That was great. Fuck Shakespeare. <laughs> Fuck Shakespeare. Fuck that nigga Nas. Fuck him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. She, yeah, what was that? Yeah, for she is the East and Juliet is the Sun. What the fuck? It's like blasphemy. Ooh, sun rising in the East, that's the West. Ooh, Juliet's gonna kill herself. Ooh, foreshadowing. Ooh, spoiler alert. Juliet's gonna die, nigga. Like, what? Oh, good for you, bro. Shakespeare was a man. That is a man. That is a man. Only a man would write that shit. Okay, what, what? Ooh, let's kill each other so we can be together forever in the afterlife. But no mention of that. No, we love each other. It's like, what is that Taylor Swift song? Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I'll be the prince and you'll be the princess. It's a love story. Maybe just say yes. Say yes to life. Honestly, I was thinking this earlier. Um, remember how I said Olsen was, um, it meant les no as in the no. Because les in French is the, but in the plural form. So the most powerful word in the entirety of all life is no. Imagine the ability to just refuse something. Well, one day I should let Noel's husband, Olivier, interview you. And you Olivier? Say, in French. Oh, yeah, because Olivier is the name of Mary Kate's husband. She was married to the president of France's half-brother. His name is Olivier Sarkozy. No, there's Olivia, my daughter, but I know. Olivier. I know, is... Olivier. Yeah, his name is Olivier Sarkozy. Olivier Sarkozy. They have the same name. He has the same name as Mary Kate's husband. Literally. I've met him. He's a very rich man. We'll do it with the interview in French. He's a banker. He owns banks. He owns banks. Like I mentioned, owning banks. <laughs> oh, she was all that money. I don't know. Then I have few. I, oh, they buy Birkins. They buy so many Birkins. They have so many Birkins. They carry both of Birkins at the same time. Do you know how much a Birkin is? It's like five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for a bag. Sarah Snyder once shoplifted one. It's impossible. They're like literally geotagged to people. There are security cam- people who have geotags injected into them, so you, you can't steal a Himalayan Birkin. She stole a Himalayan Birkin. She stole a Himalayan white alligator Birkin from the store on Madison. That's impossible. How did Sarah Snyder do it? She's not even Zack Snyder. I think she's Zack Snyder's daughter. I don't know. I just know she did Jaden Smith, you know, Will and Jada's kid. It's weird. Their relationship is weird because he's gay and she's a lesbian and they're kind of bearding each other. Then why did you fucking have kids? You know what I mean? If you're gay, why would you fuck a woman? Like, why would you get a beard? Just stay single. There's so many different kinds of relationships. Let's not talk about sex, please. Let's talk about sex, baby. Who's fucking Hollywood? Oh, yeah, COVID. I know, COVID. COVID. What the fuck is COVID? What does it do? <laughs> What, you die of what? Of, of asphyxiation? What is it? I don't get what it does. Is it the flu? I haven't had it, so I don't understand it. You just die? What is it? Like, at least swine flu, bird flu. What is COVID? Like, fish flu? Mad cow disease makes sense. What is COVID? I remember mad cow. Yeah, I remember mad cow. I don't remember mad cow because I'm not an American. Mad cow only happened in America. Do you remember bird flu and swine flu? Yeah, yeah. I got swine flu. First time I came to America, I got swine flu. I came here the year of swine flu, yeah. You got swine flu. I got swine flu, yeah. I got swine flu for two days and then I was cured. They considered me a miracle case. I was in Ohio. I went to a camp in Ohio called Peace by Peace. It's uh, these uh, children, International Summer Village. It's CISV. They run camps all around the world, and they're like kind of politically oriented. How old were you? I was 12 years old. You got swine flu at 12? I got swine flu at 12. Wow. Yeah, first time ever traveling on my own. First time ever traveling on my own. I went to Cincinnati, Ohio for a month. I remember because I didn't want to leave America because I was, that, that's where my obsession with being an American started. Because honestly, I was like, my mom was abusing me. Can I find a way to run, uh, try to run away? And they found me. The police found me and they took me back to the camp and then the camp sent me back to Egypt. And I was like, my mom is beating me up. Like, help me. My mom's abusing me. I don't want to go back to Egypt because my mom is, ma- like, literally, I have scars all up and down my body. They're like, no, you're probably cutting yourself. I'm like, no, I'm not, dude. That's when I started cutting myself is because, like, I learned about it in America. We don't have things like that in Egypt. It's a very simple society, very simple society, very different society. Very beautiful, e- e- Egypt sounds very backwards. It's, it's backwards, and honestly, and they don't deserve it because they're good people. You know what I mean? They just don't understand. It's like, imagine not being educated on No, that. but there's a lot of countries where the people are really good, like Afghanistan, where Can the people Can you imagine are, being killed for eating a piece of bacon? People are lovely, but the... Yeah, Afghanistan people are so lovely. Afghan people are so lovely. Or, like, you're talking about Pakistan? No, but Pakistan well, itself Pakistan is so... Too. Pakistan is insane. That's why everyone leaves Pakistan. It's like, it's kind of like Russia. It's like if Russia were... Um, no, like, Pakistan is crazy. It's worse than Saudi Arabia. Like, Saudi Arabia is progressive now. In Pakistan, like, you, you're a woman, you're killed. The Taliban, who makes no sense, by the way. It's, it's um, yeah, Arabic for the, those who are asked for. As in God's calling upon you to do what? Is that a pizza on your, um, is that a pizza um, battery? Or is that butterflies? These are, f- are those butterflies? flowers. Flowers, yeah. Flowers? No, wait. Or just... butterflies. They look like butterflies. Butterflies. Oh, they're butterflies. Oh, they're butterflies. oh are those ba- battery packs or whatever? Is that the storage? That's a hard drive. That's a hard drive. 
with a little. I used to buy. I used to buy those SD. Those those. Stick um, around. It. Remember when when a gigabyte of data was considered a lot? You used to buy those seven hundred <laughs> gigabyte. No, it's very laughable if you look back at technology. Like, back at technology. Oh my god! You know, just storage. Two hundred fifty megabytes. Remember those USB like, sticks? Impressive. Four gigabyte USB sticks like you had on a lanyard. Oh my God, thank God I never got an office job in the fucking early 2000s. For all these videos, I've done like 8,000 videos. Mm -hmm. Imagine the storage for 8,000 videos, two cameras. Imagine the patience, honestly. Uh, 4K. You're dealing with garbage. It's like speaking to dumpsters. It's like speaking to a dumpster that with like a syringe sucked to it. It's fucking sucks sticking out of it. You know what I mean? I, I, I buy 154 terabyte. Terabyte? Draw, uh, you know, <laughs> rated, you know, a combination of drives. Like, like, have you ever taken like, anyone like, out the way you take me out? By the way, because I noticed that I think it's very singular with me. I don't think you ever take people shopping, or do you take people out to eat and stuff, or just you? Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I can tell we have a very special. Relationship. No, you get you get very special treatment. This is a very yeah. This is sort of a beautiful. I've done more videos with you than anybody on my. Than anybody in your yeah, and honestly, I don't think I'm all that appeal. Like, there's not much going on here. You know what I mean? No, I, I think you're incredible. I think there's potential, but I think um, well, yeah, this, yeah, definitely but, potential. But, I mean, potential is what I see. Not, but honestly, it's not like you've done a lot that I'm impressed. I've not done a lot. I've done nothing. Honestly, I've been slacking. This is literally like, it's like, what was that movie, Mallrats? Yeah, you're 26. I'm 26, it's okay. 28, you could be a... You 27. Be, you could be on top of the 27 world. 27, Club, 27. Give me, give me a year. No, 27. 27. Club is... Give me a year. I dare you. I double dare you. Right. I almost got an audition for RuPaul's Drag Race. I met someone who worked on the cast, and they were like, do you want to come audition? And I was like, uh, maybe not now. Like, I'm telling you, I'm self-destructive. What's on your shoulder? Oh, the scar? No, the white thing. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a piece of rice from the rice. <laughs> it's probably from laying on the ground. Definitely from laying on the ground. Who does that? Who's that? Insane people. Crazy, crazy. Insane, <laughs> insane. Crazy cuckoo bananas. Crazy. Do you, do you think you're, you've been made a little bit crazy because you're on the street? Definitely. It just happened by accident. I just, I just, I had an apartment, right? But then I, 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 didn't, I don't know how to pay bills because no one ever taught me how to pay bills. Like I said, like no one taught me how to shave. Like when you grow up, when you're a man in Arab society, you're like taken care of. Your mom like does your clothes. I don't know how to do laundry. I don't so know how to scrub a toilet. Like what do you mean scrub a toilet? That drama queen video we did, you were all cut up from shaving. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. But I couldn't feel it. That happened the other day with Jimmy. I was like shaving <laughs> and he was like, oh, my God, you're bleeding. And I'm like, yeah, I can't feel it. I've been stabbed and fucking left for dead so many times at this point that I'm like, oh, fuck it. What's don't up, don't go to Skid Row anymore. Yeah, I don't want to go to Skid Row anymore. But honestly, the clothes, we can go to the fashion district and maybe, yeah. Not even flash up. Why would I flash it in the face? Be like, who? Look at me. No, I, mean, I'll, I go downtown sometimes. They're I'll take you down people. there. But I don't just, have any friends there. I don't know these people. But just don't go to Skid Row. They all know who I am. I just go there because of the meth and the cigarettes because it's $5 cigarettes, $5 for meth. And I can live on ten dollars a day. There are people uh, like you know, do you know that sixty percent or seventy percent of the world or something like that lives under a dollar a day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, a pack of cigarettes in, in Cairo is we're, twenty. We're spoiled in the U.S. It's twenty twenty. In, you said UAE in the USA. It's it's twenty. It's twenty Egyptian pounds. It used to be ten. Now it's twenty Egyptian pounds. Do you know how much that is? That's like that's like two dollars. It's like two dollars for a pack of cigarettes. Do you know the, 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 um, the currency exchange rate from the Egyptian pound to the dollar is. 20 Egyptian pounds to a dollar. It's literally a dollar for a pack of cigarettes. A pack of Marlboro Reds. We don't have hundreds either in, in the Middle East. They don't exist. They don't exist in the first world. Egypt is still considered the third world. People are like, the pyramids. Ooh, the pyramids. I'm like, the fuck? It just, it's just four, it's just three. Honestly, the most, the only, like, like where is it? They're like, ooh, do you still ride camels? I'm like, why are camels? Like, we have horses. There are horses in the desert. You've never been to the desert. It's... There's a book I love, and when we were talking about wanting to direct earlier, my ambition in life right now is to direct a, um, a film version of David Foster Wallace's book, The Room of the System. It's my favorite book of all time. What's the book? The Broom of the System by David Foster Wallace. He was that say, author. Who say it more slowly. The Broom of the System. Okay. By David Foster Wallace. Um, he was, you know, you know Jonathan Franzen, The Corrections? Anyway, no. I can tell you're not a reader. It's not a, like a book. I'm not a me. reader. I'm not a reader. Me neither. I got bored of books, honestly. I'm like, I don't watch reality See, TV. You, you have a circle of interest. And my have a circle of, I have a circle of interest, and they barely touch. Yeah, what, like, what are your interests in life? Well, like, uh, you know, I could have a, l a long conversation about who had a better one-handed backhand, Yvonne Lendl or Roger Federer. Who are the, oh, tennis? Oh, I hate tennis. Or I could, you know, we could talk, I could talk for hours about Eddie Van Halen and Stevie Ray Vaughan. I don't see like, she looks like a horse, kind of. I don't know. Like <laughs> you a, want to talk about Madonna and... I want to talk about Madonna. I don't want to talk about Serena Williams. And I want to talk about Eddie Roger Van Roger Federer and Nadal. Neither of them I find attractive. Neither of them I find... If you're unattractive in any way, I, unless you're, like, butt ugly, unless there's something appealing about it, you know what I mean? Tennis bores me. Do you watch football? Yeah. If I don't watch football, exactly. I love Gronk. Gronk is sex as fuck. Gronk, if you're out there, if you're hearing this, Gronk, <laughs> fuck me. Tom Brady, uh, whatever. I was, I, all I want to be is fucked by a <laughs> linebacker. You just want to get fucked by a football player. I don't want to get fucked by white football. White boys, Latino boys, Asian boys. Young. And you're doing this without a condom. Huh? You're doing this without a condom. 
Oh, I've been tested. No, I've never had an STD in my life. I swear to God. No, but on Skid Row, it's. Funny. I know, I know. Well, I'm being raped, Mark. What am I looking at? Exactly. No more Skid Row. No more Skid Row. Let's, let's make a pact together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make a blood pact right now, right here, right now. I hate going down there. Nobody's, I hate going down nobody's there. Nobody's touching me. Nobody's touching me. They're, no. so, they're so disgusting to you. And you always hand out those hundreds, and I can tell because you're afraid of them or whatever. You don't <laughs> want them to touch you, you know what I mean? So it's like, here's a hundred dollars, get away from me. You know what I mean? Get away from you, Sim. <laughs> I'm afraid. Like, they're, they're ruining Little Tokyo in the Arts District, literally. Those tents. Who lives in a tent in America? It's literally a refugee camp. It's like one of those, like, it's like literally one of those third world African refugee camps where Africans don't want to be living that way. You're an African American. You live in America and you're choosing to live in a tent with no running water, no electricity. How are they charging those phones? I don't understand. They all have phones and they smoke crack. Like at least crystal is an amphetamine. So it's like ecstasy, you know what I mean? Even crystal is very cheap and they cut it with baby powder. They cut it with fentanyl. What is fentanyl? It's rat poison. It's literally rat poison. Do you think there's fentanyl in the crystal meth? Yeah, so of course there is. I don't know why they cut it with it either. It's more expensive to make. But if, but if you're getting fentanyl in your crystal meth, you're going to pa pass out. But that's what's happening. Exactly. That's why I end up going to sleep sometimes. If, if you ever do um, any drug and you, you end up passing out, most likely if it's like a white drug and you snort it, because I'm really good with drugs, um, it's been cut with fentanyl. So are you, are you jonesing right now for, for something? No, honestly, I'm fine. I'm honestly like happy. I want to clean up. I want to like, I almost feel like I'm in a, it's almost like a cocoon state. You know what I mean? Tell you what, here's the plan. Three days. Spend the, whatever. We'll start with one day. Start with one day. But, but get through the night in the time. hotel. Don't cause any problems. I, I, I don't want to hear from this hotel because put, I put you a lot won't. of people up in this hotel. You won't. That come from out of town to stay. I won't. So get through the night. Yeah. Make sure it's cool. It's going to be raining tomorrow. So, so okay, perfect. Come over here. Yeah. You're only... Get me an umbrella. You're right down the street. Yeah, yesterday was hell, dude. I think you went and slept in the porta potty across the street from you. I was sleeping in there all night because of the rain. People Darn. kept coming in while I was sleeping. Like, they, they almost, this girl fucking came in this morning and almost pissed on my face. Literally, she started peeing and she started peeing everywhere. Like, I literally had to run out. I was like, ah, I started screaming. She was, like, she was like, disgusting. do you have any money? Give me your money. And I'm like, Skid Row's disgusting. Skid Row's disgusting. Can we just blow it up and start a new? Like, no, no, no. You just, just leave there. St spend, spend the day here. Civilize yourself. Get civilize a little myself. cleaner. Sounds about right. Keep, I'll get you a shaver. Yeah. It's not a shaver. I need like, I just have this five o'clock shadow. I don't know how to get rid of those, that, that gray tint. What I need is like a foundation or a concealer. I need makeup. Can we go shopping tomorrow? Like shopping, will, will shopping. hormones get rid of your beard? Yeah, exactly. Um, no, you can do, you do, uh, it's called electrolysis and it removes the hair. It's like laser hair removal. Oh, really? Yeah, electrolysis literally. And electronically, it removes the, the follicle itself. So it just plucks it out. It's, it's completely painless. Yeah, and there's facial feminization surgery, so I want to get I want to get my cheekbones done. I don't want to get my teeth done. Don't, get, don't do anything to your face. I just want to do my cheekbones. No, don't do anything to your face. Bones. Don't do anything. Uh, I want to do my nose. My nose is the only thing I want to do. And the head of the trans the trans Latina Women's Coalition in little in in, in, in Koreatown or whatever has had her, has had the most disgusting nose job ever. And fuck her by the way, because I literally asked them, they're like, come back in two weeks. I'm like, what? What do you mean come back in two weeks? I I don't have a home. Like, okay, go go live in a tent. I'm like, what do you mean go live in a tent? Okay, can you provide the tent? No, we don't have tents here. Get out of here, you homeless man. I'm like, excuse me? Like, I'm a woman. They're like, no, you're a man. I'm like, excuse me, what do you mean I'm a man? Okay, I have a beard. Like, can you help, like, can you help me cut my dick off? They're like, can you not speak that way? Can you get out of here, please? You're being, uh, you're being rude. And I was like, what? Like, I'm in shock. I was in shock. It's like when I went to the Anine and May Rosenstein, the Los Angeles LGBT Center, they're like, you can't come in here. I'm like, why? Like, you're over 25. If you're under 25, you have to be under 25 or over 60 to get services there. Otherwise, there's nowhere in West Hollywood for a gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender person to get basic sh services, shower, meals, anything like that. They wouldn't even give me a snack. Here, you don't make yourself a victim. You just take charge of your life. Exactly. And, and, and climb out of this situation. I do things myself, apparently. Because, because you do have the, the, the audience and the ability to- I know. I just don't have the resources. You know, you do. Where are right they? Here. Okay, right here. fine, let's go. We're doing it. We're doing it. You're going to make money here. We're going to make money here. Okay, fine, deal. I'm not, not trying to make money, trust me. I just don't know how to. I've never had a job in my life. I've, I, don't, I have no education. I have, you, I don't, you, you have a job now. Don't, I have a job now. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I but, but, but if you save your money. I'll save my money. I'll, 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 store, I'll, I'll put it in the bank account for it's you. It's been a while since I've had money. But I grew up, like I told you, my grandfather is worth about $2.3 billion at this point. He owns a very, very reputable um, real estate firm um, that's very well in the Middle East. It's kind of like the Coldwell Banker of the Middle East. That's why I don't talk about it, because if I said its name, literally, we could be killed. <laughs> He's that powerful. Yeah, yeah. If I said his name, we could be no, killed. No, don't, don't get yourself in trouble. Yeah, I know, of course. Not. I don't want to get you in trouble, baby. I just want to take care of you. You're like my baby. I'm not worried about you. I mean, I'm not worried about me. I'm, I'm worried, worried about you. Know, I'm not worried about me either, honestly. I just, I just don't want you and your family to be... I don't care. Bumping heads. I don't care. I just, that's why I don't talk to them exactly. I'd rather not. I just feel bad for my dad, you know what I mean? He probably really wants to, to just know that I'm okay. If you can get in contact with him, I'd feel bad. It looks like... um. 
art. It says like it looks like a birth is um, etched in your head. A, a I read. I read. Um, like when I read in my readings. I, when I when I have my visions, I usually got words on people. It says a birth. <laughs> you were, you were doing this with your feet once. A birth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to read them? Okay, read it and weep. It says Disney. It says a love, a love, read a love reading, a love ready to begin, arwah, which is Arabic for souls, block people of color, right now. <laughs> you you need sleep. King woman shit. No no no. Cairo. I don't want you reading your feet. Yeah, I'm reading my feet. Well, <laughs> honey, I'm a t- I, used to, I used to read tarot in Venice. I yeah, I know you did. I yeah, you went Mary, right? Yeah, Mary. Yeah, Mary was weird, yo. Mary seems nice. Mary's, she's just, she was just like, like you know, an abusive, like the kind of mother that's like, like, a, like, a, like a helicopter parent. She, she really wanted me to call her my mother and shit. And I'm like, she was like, call me Mother Mary. I'm like, what? She, she probably liked you a lot. Yeah, I know, but like, whatever, dude. But it was like, she was like, she was like, she wouldn't let me go out with people. She wouldn't let me go out, for instance. But then she wouldn't take me home with her. Like, she'd take girls home with her, but she'd be like, uh, you're not my son, because she has a son called Rocket. And um, I think she didn't want me to fuck Rocket or something like that because I think Rocket's by. You know what I mean? So she didn't want to take me home with her. So she'd never let me stay with her. But she'd be like, you can't go out tonight. I'm like, what do you mean I can't go out tonight? She's like, well, I, know go she, I know she cares about you. I know, good for her. I want to say fuck her, but you know. Like she'd give, there was that woman, right? A heroin addict. And at the time I wasn't doing math. A heroin addict who she would give money to watch her stuff. But I would propose for her mermaid. She'd give me like five bucks, yo. She wouldn't give me money. Literally. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. But She's it, insane. It was fun. So back to the original conversation we were just about having here. You, you used to give tarot card readings? Yeah, I used to give tarot card readings. On Venice Beach? On Venice Beach, yeah. When I first <laughs> came when I first came to LA, yeah. This woman, Mary, she sent me up with a table. Give me, give me a tarot card reading because I know you're making that. I'll give you a tarot card reading. Let's do it. Just do, pretend we're doing it. What kind of shit do you say? Oh, my God. Is that whatever. No, dude, there was this dude who would come up to me every two days. He, had, he was waiting for a wire transfer to come from like Geneva or something. Some black guy again. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no education. How do you get so, so incredibly smart, though? I don't know. I just have always been this way. People always say I'm smart. I'm like, I'm really not. I Are just, you? I like what I like. I don't know. It just, it's, I, I think I'm pretentious, honestly. I think it's more I'm pretentious because I sound very intellectual, but I'm really not, by the way. I can't remember the last time I read a book or even fucking a newspaper. I don't know. I don't know what the war in Ukraine is about. I know if World War III is Russia versus the Ukraine, what does that have to do with the United States of America? But it hasn't really happened yet. So it's like the tension is like mounting. Israel Palestine already started. So it's like, you know what I mean? What is it? The, following, the, war, the war to end all wars, as they said, honestly. I think it's going to be the last time in life we'll ever need a war. You know what I mean? Just kill all those people. All those people can just kill each other. You know what I mean? Just go ahead. Go to war. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. They'll all die. Boom. Blow it all up. Okay. Whatever. And then, you know, oh, you go to heaven? Fuck 72 virgins. You can fuck 72 virgins here. Why wait till heaven? God is not going to give you 72 virgins. Um, in the times of Muhammad, before Muhammad, right? Even times of Islam, if you had a, a girl, if, if a baby was born a girl, you had the right to bury her six feet under. That's where six feet under comes from. Alive. Alive, Mark. Imagine burning a baby alive for being a woman. True story. True story. They still do it today. It's not as common, but it still exists. So anyway, when I say Saudi Arabia is very progressive, there was a festival in Saudi Arabia called Middle Beast. And it was very progressive. Like, they had a lot of supermodels there. Crop tops, you know what I mean? Women can drive there. Dubai, like, the Middle East is starting to get more progressive. It's just that Egypt is in Africa, so it's a little more subjugated. It's like the Horn of Africa, but there are no black people there. It's very segregated and very racist for a reason. Because, again, the black men there... Like, they want to be poor. It's like, I don't get people on Twitter. It's like, why would you want to be poor and uneducated? You have the same chance as everyone else. It's 2023. I just, like, if you go to public school, you can, you can sell penny stocks. How are Africans different than African Americans? Africans have nothing because they don't have, they don't, they don't even have access to water. They still have to go to the watering hole. They're so happy and grateful for anything in life. It's disgusting. You know, Skid Row is disgusting. Food, Mark. Those children, like, it's not even the children, the mothers. And the men, again, are exactly the same. Remember that Coney shit, Coney 2012? Child soldiers, real thing. What do you mean? The children fucking stabbing each other and, and torturing each other. Like, in Djibouti, which, where, like, I, I went to Djibouti because we went to Kenya once on safari and then ended up going to Djibouti for a bit. I saw, like, what was this? That's like a human torture camp. They were, like, essentially starving the children, like, forcing them to starve. There's not a talk character. There were children, like, the cleft palate thing. There were children with, like, with no leg just laying there on the side of the road and they'd make them walk and they'd be like, walk and they'd whip them and make them walk. They whip each other. They whip each other in Africa. It's so weird. The men whip people. Why would, a woman would never do that. Yeah, Africa's crazy. It's not crazy. It's just very backwards. The cradle of life. Where? Where's the life? Like, I remember there was a Trevor Noah, a skit he did. We were talking about how, like, they got the first, their first escalator in a mall in South Africa. 
which is, again, white and colonized for a reason. I want to talk about colonialism. The second you talk about colonialism, people are like, huh? And I'm like, okay, good. Sacagawea was eating berries before, before Jerry, Ben and Jerry fucking showed up, or Jerry, uh, Jerry and Lewis, or whatever the fuck their names were. John and Lewis. I, have no, I don't know any, by the way, I don't know any American history. That's why I haven't taken the citizenship because I see out, because I have to know all 50 states, 51 states. I, I don't know all the names of states. I don't know the Star Spangled Banner. I, I don't know when fucking, I, don't, I, I mean, all I know is what you eat for Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Who was the first president? George Washington, obviously. There you go. I'm not an idiot. I know, and then Abraham Lincoln. I don't know. I don't know who anyone is. John Adams. Says no, John most, Adams. most Americans don't know all the presidents. I don't. I don't. I don't know any of the presidents. I thought I really want Hillary to be president. I know Donald Trump was president, so that's the thing. <laughs> that's a possibility. <laughs> we, we, we know. We, we know can elect Donald Trump president. I'm sure we can elect a woman president, but uh, no, not yet. Honestly, honestly, it's like I don't like Hillary because Hillary is like it's like it's like she's trying to sell you on this. She's very fake because you can tell she's a very violent woman. She's a very vulgar woman. She's a very evil woman. She's done things in life, like human rights crimes beyond, war crimes beyond, you know what I mean? She's a woman who's done what she's had to do in life. You know, like, they have to do what they have to do in politics. I don't find that necessary, but I'm sure if you get a kick out of it, you know what I mean? You get a kick out of seeing people, you know what I mean? Like waterboarding and that shit, fine. If that shit makes you come, great, good for you. You watch Saw and you just, you're like, Ugh, you know what I mean? You're, you know, you're watching Hostel and you're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Good for you, Hillary. That's, that's all I can say on that, you know what I mean? Hashtag good for you on that one. Honestly, thank God that I like Trump. I love Trump. You want Trump? Trump, 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 Trump. Oh, he's so adorable. He's so cute. Oh my God. You like Donald? Fuck her right in the pussy. Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> grab him by the pussy. Okay, grab him by the pussy. Honestly, there are women out there who are like that. It's true. And good for them, honestly. Where I come from, women cannot have sex. Okay? Grab my pussy. Grab my pussy. Oh, she got a pussy good for her? What was that? You ever seen that movie, the Spike Lee movie, Boomerang? With Grace Jones. I was telling someone about this the other day. Grace Jones. Okay. So she's out to dinner with Eddie Murphy. And um, they're out there. something out of nowhere. Grace Jones goes, when are we gonna fuck? And Murphy goes, huh? He goes, well, according to Jacqueline, you really know how to move your ass. And he goes, uh, excuse me, sorry, I have to leave. He's like, when you gotta fuck this pussy? Pussy, 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 pussy. What are you, gay? I'm like, yes, I would never have sex with Grace Jones. How can you wanna fuck that? I'm sure they're, do you find Grace Jones sexually attractive? Grace Jones? I think she's very elegant and iconic. And no, not my thing. She looks like a man, right? She looks like a, like a man with no, big yeah, tits. I'm sure for not my thing. Yeah, very for rough. she's great. I love a view to a kill, but I would never touch her. Like, it's like a vile monster, but like, good for her, you know what I mean? It's like Lady Gaga. Who would want to fuck Lady Gaga? You know what I mean? Like, ooh, <laughs> what a martyr. No, like, even, like Madonna. Like, Madonna's the only woman that I can imagine, like, I can see in a sexual reference. She invented sex. Like, I hate women also because gay men are the only reason Madonna's still relevant. Women have no idea what, what they owe Madonna. Madonna Lady, liberated Lady Gaga was beautiful when she's not in all the crazy costumes. I think also, yeah, the Kermit shit. Like, it's, it's just very amateur. It's just very, it's very clownish. I don't see that. There's no intellect behind it. You know what I mean? It's very martyry. Again, it's like she's insulting herself. It's like she's intentionally insulting her own intelligence or her own ability to artistically, like, art pop. Well, I'm going to take pop art and win or revert it and do nothing with it. Literally, it was such a vacant album. Ooh, Venus. Oh, I'm going to conjure Venus by making a song called Venus. I like G-O-I because at least there was a roughness or a hardness to it. But again, it's like, it's like the story of the fallen angel, or the story of the fallen martyr. Ooh, Joan of Arc. Well, Joan of Arc tried to put a dick on it. You know what I mean? Exact opposite story. They did not try, try her or burn her as a witch. They burned her as a dude, okay? They were like, you're trying to be a dude. You're not a dude, bitch. Go burn in hell, okay? They did not try her for witchcraft. They tried her for trying to fucking go fight in the war, right? She wanted to go fight in the war with the dudes. So she put on Gwendolyn Christie, right? Put on a bunch of armor. Fuck, like, you know I mean? you probably fucking couldn't even swing a sword, you know what I mean? So fucking got her a fucking pussy ass fucking caught. It's like Barbara Streisand in that one movie. I love, I love this year's model of, of Rebecca. <laughs> this, this, this is just, this is the real me. Honestly. I know. This I is love what it. I'm like, you know I what I mean? love it. It's just skid row people don't know I hope, these I hope they don't continues. talk about these things. There's no, there's, there's no there's a, I think there's a lot of people that hope it's like they don't know there's an LA. What the fuck? What is, what is a pookie? A pookie, by the way, in human torture, in human torture experiments, a pookie is a device that is used to poke people with a needle. It's a needle that pokes you multiple times. I remember, I remember going to the Museum of Torture in... Uh, I don't like human torture. In San Gimignano, Italy. And it, it was just crazy. Crazy! The medieval torture, yeah. Crazy stuff. I remember that uh, Brothers Grimm movie with Marco Bellucci. So when you wonder if, if, man, if society is, is improving or getting worse, it's clearly if, getting better. If, if, it's clearly getting better, obviously, because people could not handle that shit today. People like to claim to be a hard or whatever. But if, if you brought back medieval torture, like the medieval times were like literally medieval. It's like demi evil. Unless, if, unless we all go to war in the next year. Or yeah, so. but what are we gonna? What are we gonna that's why I don't like the Walking Dead. I'm like zombies. What? Where? What? We're gonna invent that. You're gonna invent a thing that eats people. Don't eat people. Don't eat each other. They don't eat each other in hell. They're not gonna eat each other here. I've done many seances with many very powerful witches, and I've like been to hell or like we've been to hellish realms or whatever. The realms exist. It's very hard to get into. You know what I mean? But like when it comes to the government, like the hills have eyes for the real government experiment. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these movies are simulators, right? You know, you know, or like a behavioral simulators. Let's say, you know what I mean? 
You're not going to pour $100 billion in something the government. The government is not going to not come knocking at your door. You know what I mean? One of my favorite stories is um, there's a movie called How Do You Know, starring Reese Witherspoon, Jack Nicholson, and Paul Rudd, right? $90 million. They built a whole city in a soundstage somewhere in Burbank and then destroyed it after a whole functioning city for like a year and filmed this rom-com, literally where it's like a, a will there, won't they? Where it's like, essentially Jack Nicholson is like, I hate the God thing in, in, in LA because the God thing is weird in LA. Like Gwen Stefani and Courtney Carter, like Gwen Stefani goes to church dressed in all red all the time. Like I don't get, it's, it's not ironic to me in any way. God isn't there to torture you. Who is this man and what did he, what did he do? What, what did he, what did, when did he say you can do these things? Who is he? Who is this God? And everybody, God, go, go where? Go, 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 go die, pretty much? Just without the eye? Who is this God? Who is this guy? Where did he come from? Who is he? Show up, nigga. Where the fuck you at, Wizard of Oz? Where the fuck you at, bitch? I <laughs> wish you were more opinionated. I understand the devil, at least a little more, because the devil is just, it's just like the fallen, it's the idea of the fallen human. See, I think you're fascinating. I don't think I'm fascinating at all. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm very boring. I can't wait to actually experience life. I've barely been to clubs due to my um, self-ascribed poverty. Who does it to themselves? Who just makes themselves poor? It's, like, it's again the martyr demand aspect, you know what I mean? A big part of a woman apparently is being a martyr. I don't know why. Being a martyr society. And men, of course, have to martyrize, her. especially with children. Like, don't bring kids into this. Don't hurt children. Because I was hurt a lot as a child, physically. I was never beat up in school, but I was hurt by my family a lot, and they were very abusive. I was never sexually abused because that didn't exist. I would love to have been sexually abused. I would love it. Every man that I've ever had sex with has been over the age of like at least 25. I don't fuck little Twinkie boys. I don't, as a teenager, all I want to do is fuck older men. Probably because my father wasn't around or whatever the fuck you want to say, fine. I've been to every show in the world, I like fucking older men. Not your age older, but like, with, like in their 30s, 40s, kind of, you know what I mean? Like more muscular or whatever. Or like kind of paunchy even, you know what I mean? Like men who are powerful. Like men who cheat on their wives, you know what I mean? Men with like powerful business jobs. Like get, so, get such a thrill from it. You know what I mean? Or like gangsters. I like gangsters. I like men with guns. Once I, 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 I was fucking this guy and I got him to fuck me with his gun. It was so hot, but I was so afraid. I was like, it's a safety on, it's a safety on, it's a safety on. I was afraid he was going to shoot me in the ass. It was like Russian roulette. It was like the sex version of Russian so roulette. So a lot of the guys that you will hook up with are... They're not, no, 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 they're not, they're not. They raped me. Those are rapes. I haven't had sex in three years. Those are rapes. No, no, no. Don't say it. Don't say black guys. Don't say black guys. Look, Tyler yeah. the Creator, I love you. No, Asap Rocky, I love you. I, was say it. I think you're bomb as fuck. I would never have sex with any of those men. I'm not Tyler the Creator. Why would I want to have sex with them? No, what I, was, what I was about to say is a lot of the guys that you will hook up with are kind of on the down low. They're not, they're like, they're not out, openly gay. Um, no. Yeah, sure. Because I don't like effeminate gay men. You know what I mean? I don't like anything. Like, like, you, like, you like guys that appear to be straight, but they're gay. I like men. I'll say that. I'm a woman who likes men. It's not even about your, being a prostitute. It's just your like, idea of romance is so far from mine. Uh, oh, no, I have romance. I definitely, I, like, I have an idealized romantic vision in life. And I truly believe I have a soulmate. I know who my soulmates are. I have two soulmates. It's very complicated. It's very complicated to explain. But there are two men out there, and I've met one of them before. And we did make a, a death pact where, essentially, if we didn't meet the other soulmate by the time we turned 45, because 45 is the uh, number of sacrifice, or the number of death, essentially, because it's four to five, is in that's what the, the powers of your life because of your uh, fingers on your toes um, disappear. You know, like the, the Pythagorean theorem, the 45 degree thing in Freemasonry? <laughs> so essentially, if, if we don't meet our soulmate by the time we're 45, we're going to get married. And he's rich as fuck. I don't want to say his name because he's kind of like, no, like I said, he's a businessman. He's a very well-known, like kind of finance tech guy. Um, I just call him Mr. X. <laughs> kind of like, you know how Carrie had Mr. Big? I, got, I have Mr. X and he's so cool. And we have the exact, like he owns clubs, he runs raves, he's so fucking cool. He lives in New York, but he spends time between New York and Europe. And he's very like, bourgeoisie, but like, he go, like you know, he goes to the Gagosian all the time. He goes to all the Gagosian openings. He goes to all the film premieres, you know what I mean? He's like an angel investor kind of, but in the art scene. So honestly, like, he, I just didn't want to be on his arm because I was worried about his reputation in society. Not that he's known for being straight, but he's kind of known for being a playboy. And he was the first man to ever treat me like a real woman. You know what I mean? So I wanted to keep it private because I didn't want my society's vision of me to get in our relationship because truly he was like, He's it's like, yeah, you're a woman. You just happen to have screen. a penis. And I happen to find that slightly attractive. Honestly, I'd rather you didn't have it either. Do you want to get a child I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready yet. Because when I was younger, I didn't know if I wanted to be a woman. I was like, my dad would always offer me the surgery. Your dad? Yeah, always. Always. He was like, do you want to be a woman? I'm like, I don't know. I don't feel it because I didn't know. Your, you know. your dad did that? Yeah, all the time. That's he was like, cool. do, you want, do, you want, do you want to just chop it off, honey? Just chop it off. Please just chop it off. He was begging me. I'm like, I'm not sure. I don't know. Really? Yeah, I had no idea. I just thought I was a gay boy. I like your dad more and more the more I Yeah, no, he's a great guy. He's such a great guy. I'm telling you, you can call me this apartment in Boston, fucking $4,000 a month. It takes a lot for a dad to say. 
Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I know. He offered me the, the surgery so many times. And I was just like, mm, I don't know. It's kind of like the Skid Row situation. I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm going to sit here and smoke crystal meth for the rest of my life and fucking, I don't know, fucking eat shit and fucking drink piss. And, you know, it's like, why wouldn't I just take that off when, I, when the opportunity was offered? Because now that I don't have the immediate access to it, it's like the biggest regret in my life is not taking that. Because honestly, he was going to get me the best doctors. He took me to this, he was still going to pay a million, like close to a million for me to get all my surgeries done and have me in a separate hotel. Like, because there was a very private hospital where, like, no media. Your dad loves you. My dad loves me so much. I love him so much. He's my sauce. He's my baby. Like, fuck my mom, honestly. She was very abusive. Fuck her. Like, I was just saying happy birthday here because I'm, I'm a good person. I'm not going to fucking put shit against people. You know what I mean? Whatever. Your dad sounds incredible. He's he's a lovely man. He's just, he's just very vanilla and very demure. And he didn't like that I was drinking because I was an alcoholic growing up. So we'd have fights over it, you know what I mean? But he'd always buy me cigarettes, and always I'd wake up in the morning, and he'd always, oh, and he was, he was giving me money so I'd get some McDonald's you, or whatever. You, you, you clearly... He just wouldn't let me go out and party at night. He wouldn't let me stay at my friends' houses. He seemed strict, you know what I mean, where I wanted to... When, when did you start drinking? What age? I was like nine or ten. I had my first beer, literally. <laughs> you, so you clearly... I had my first bump of coca. I was like ten or eleven. You clearly have an addictive personality. I, I like I like what I like. I'm, I have more of a hardcore personality. I would say it's not addictive. I'm not addicted. I don't drink anymore. You're, anymore. You have a hardcore personality. I hate alcohol now. At this I buy point. that. I don't like the taste of it. I buy that. I drink soda. I drink so much soda. That's why I, th that's why I think you could quit very easily. I, th I could quit. Yeah. I could quit and actually physically take care of my body. It just, it helps. You know what I mean? Like if I replaced it with like, if I took an ecstasy pill once a week, I'd be fine. You know what I mean? Literally. Literally. If I took an ecstasy pill once a week, literally like a pharmaceutical, you know what I mean? If it could be prescribed at this point, if I find a doctor who could prescribe me like literally like amphetamine, as in the chemical amphetamine. It's the methylated part that makes me so... Because what a methylation is, is, it's like cooking gas. You know what I mean? It's like if you're going to boil gas with water or boil gas with like turpentine or something, you know what I mean? And make it dirty. That's what meth is. Why? Because you need the crystal form to smoke it. And I'm a smoker. I've been smoking cigarettes literally. The first thing in my life I did. I was seven years old. I stole my last box of smokes and I smoked a cigarette. Ever since then I've been smoking. I literally have been a smoker since I was nine years old. Okay? I'm 26 now. It's going on 23 years. I've been... Uh, 20... Wait. No, it's the other way around. 18, 17, 17 years. They only want you when you're 17, when you're 21, you're no fun. You ever heard that song? They take a Polaroid and let you go by Lady Tron. It was in the Neon Demon, Nicholas Winning Rap. <laughs> Dude, you and I run in different circles. How did you live in LA and I don't know what a movie is? Mark, I feel bad for you. I want to introduce you to my world. Come to, come to the light. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. I don't think I've got the... the what? You're doing production. You're doing... What? You don't know what a movie is? What's your favorite movie? Name a movie. Go. Name the last movie you saw. I, I, I'm, a cla I'm, a, I'm a typical dude. I, I like Godfather, I like Apocaly Apocalypse. I like Godfather. Now. I don't like I don't like Apocaly uh, Apocalypto or Apocalypse Apoc Now. Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now. Yeah, I don't like Apocalypto either. So uh, yeah, Jimmy tried to get me to watch Passion of the Christ earlier. I was like, uh, we were at, uh, at his house, and I'm like, no, can we watch Rosemary's Baby? So we watched Rosemary's Baby, and then he got bored and just shut it off. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> like you're talking about the devil here. Like this is true classic horror. This is classic American cinema. It's one thing I don't understand about men. It's like, huh? Dude, like, like, only a woman would understand Rosemary's Baby. But, like, a lot of men are voracious about it because of Charles Manson. Ooh, Charles Manson killed Cheryl Tate. Yeah, because Cheryl, because Sharon Tate did a movie called The Eye of the Devil and literally sacrificed herself to the devil. The Charles Manson thing, it's, 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 it's a ritual to sacrifice. They do it all the time in Hollywood. 9-11, duh. Winning, duh. <laughs> Fucking die. Fucking duh. You know, all that dumb shit. All that stupid shit. Ooh, the devil. Ooh, 666. Ooh, 666. 666 is just literally, it's three witches pulling a man out of hell. Whoever the devil is, someone dropped him in hell. I was just like, fuck you, bitch. You know, oh, father, my house of Darth Vader. Darth Vader, Luke you're, Skywalker. You're, you're fascinated with devils and witches. I'm a witch. I have practiced witchcraft. I don't understand why it's not physically, but because there's a controversy to it. The idea of burning a woman or stoning a woman, there's such a verse, and the, the idea of women as the second sex, there's such a power to be marginalized and yet having the secret power over men, you know what I mean? You don't know how powerful it is to just have control over men. It's like mind control. I love MK Ultra. I love the CIA. I love that shit. You know what I mean? The idea of getting someone to do something against their will is so appealing to me. I love it. I love it. I don't care if you're good or evil. If you can do that to someone. Like, I've known some very evil people. done some very evil shit. Like, eyes wide shut shit, but on like a massacre level. You know what I mean? Like, eyes wide shut is like, <laughs> dumbest movie I've ever seen in my life. It's like, oh, we're all wearing masks and we're fucking COVID. That could have been COVID. Instead, it was, what was it? It's like, it's like, it's like people, you know, people, when you, when you first try a cigarette and you either cough and you stop smoking, you know, you know, those people who are like, I've never smoked. Are like people who, who, who like take one sip of a beer and go like, oh, I'm so drunk. You know, when you have your first beer, you know, that one dude that's always like saying, oh, I'm so drunk. Ooh. You know, fucking mongoloids, mongoloids. It's like there are people out there who have Down syndrome. Don't be that way. There are people out there who are born retarded. It's not their fault. You know what you kind of look like? You look like if Jacob DeRothschild was attractive. Attractive, sorry. You look like an attractive version of Jacob DeRothschild. He owns Watterson Manor. 
he's like outside of Nikki, he's the last like real Rothschild. Marilyn's dead, Pauline's dead, Evelyn's dead. Well, yeah, Sir Evelyn, I guess. I think he died too. Jacob was the last one. He's had like seven heart transplants. Poor guy. He's Jewish. How is he still Jewish? Why are they still Jewish? <laughs> yeah, They're so rich. Let me put this to bed. Um, okay. Well, I'm so, I'm so optimistic for your, your year. I'm very optimistic. Yes, the year of four. Remember, we also had the year this of four. Is the year no, of Rebecca. 2024. 2024 is the year Forget of about 27. Rebecca. I think 26 is going to be your year. 2027 is No, I mean, I mean, you, 20, the your 26th 26, year of your exactly. life. Why? Because American Ashley. American Ashley. 26. 20, 66. 2024 for you. Route 66. Route 66. 26. 26. No, this is, this is a great way to start the year. It's a great way to start the year. Route 66. The end of the road. Exactly. So many people are just saying you're, you're hopeless. There's no chance for you. You're, you're a lost cause. I love rock and roll. It's about another dime in the jukebox. Rebecca Olson for president. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Olsen for president. Watch the face. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love to just take all the naysayers and say... Fuck, yeah, of course. Of course, be like, fucking look at me now. Look at me now, no, literally. You, I met Chris Brown. He has a song called Look At Me Now. I met Chris Brown. He said, like, you deserve and you will be one of the most famous people in Hollywood. I'm like, yeah, if I wanted to. And he's like, yeah, if you wanted to. And I'm like, I just don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want the attention. I didn't realize I was such an attention whore. I didn't realize I was going to love it so much. I thought I was shy. I thought I was a shy, mousy little girl. You know, he's some shy, mousy little boy. But the woman within... I'll leave you with this. I'm going to shut down this one. There's a drag queen named Mrs. Carter Davis. Mrs. Carter Davis, if you're hearing this, because I saw you once at Rocco's in WeHo. I love you. Mrs. Carter Davis. You know, any, any man can put on a dress can be a woman. But it takes a lot of balls to be a lady. Motherfuckers. Also, sorry, real quick. Transitioning from that into Chloe Grace Moretz, Class of Souls 2014. I'm going to be in this play. It's called Maloha Snake. <laughs> What's the name of the director? Oh, Klaus, you know, Klaus, Klaus, what, Santa Claus? <laughs> Klaus Wiesenbach? I'm gonna be in this play, it's called Maloha Snake. It's my favorite line in the movie of all time. Just the way she says it. It's supposed to be Maloya Snake. It's the Austrian pronunciation. Basically, uh, three actors go to do a play in Geneva, and one of them is like um, a young, like, up and, like, it girl, you know what I mean? And one of them is a fading actress. And then the third one that is um, her assistant, played by Kristen Stewart. And then she abandons the old one on a hill. And it's supposed to be a comment on like women and aging. It's a very beautiful movie. Very beautiful movie. When I met Princess Dina Shani, no, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. So I can't talk about Rosie. I signed an NDA. I signed an NDA. I can't. So yes. And I'll leave you with this one, America. I'm going to be in this play. It's called Little Hot Snake. See, if the Oscars were anywhere near her, interesting or even moderately controversial, she would have won the Oscar for that role. She deserved it. You know what I mean? It's like Kirsten Dunst won the best actress that can for Melancholia. I was like, thank God, at least someone's paying attention. The only Oscar I will ever fucking even consider is Natalie Portman's for Black Swan. And that was the most obvious one I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, of course. She learned ballet. Do you know how hard ballet is? She did three years of ballet. She married the dude and then they got divorced. It was very obvious. She like fell in love with him, obviously, because you know, three years of ballet, like ballet is intense. It's literally a man and a woman, like it's a man caring and supporting a woman, and a woman literally having to be. How are we gonna end this? This is gonna be a, a five-hour video if you don't. I'm gonna be in this play. It's called Maloya Snake. Bye. <laughs>